All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to look at an example, and we're going to find the steady state solution for a given slope field or differential equation. And then we're going to characterize it in terms of its stability. So we are given this first order differential equation. And the first thing that we do is we draw a slope field to see what's going on. So this is my slope field of y prime is equal to xy, which was also from the previous video. So in order to find the steady state solution, all you have to do is set y prime equal to zero. And the reason why we do that is because a steady state solution represents when a function is not changing, when it's steady. And that occurs whenever the derivative, which is also the rate of change of a function, is equal to zero. So we just substitute in zero for y prime. And so we get zero is equal to x times y, which gives us two possible solutions. One possible solution when x equals zero, and another one when y is equal to zero. And we can see that reflected on our slope field plot. We can see that at x equals zero, we have slope of zero, and then also along the y equals zero, we also have zero slope. So remember that we are looking for a steady state solution, which means that we are looking for a function y that causes us to have zero slope. So we're not interested in x equals zero because that's just a location. As you can see right here, it's only at a single location. We're interested in an actual function that gives us a steady state solution, which is y is equal to zero, which means that all across this, all across the x-axis, the slope is zero, and this represents our steady state solution because the slope is not changing. But now we can look at stability. And this is part of the reason why we drew a slope field, because we can easily categorize this steady state solution by looking at stability. We see that if we were to deviate just a little bit um, above in this direction, that our solution would go and diverge this way because we have to follow the slope lines. And similarly, if we were to deviate a little bit below the x-axis, our solution would deviate and diverge completely down here to negative infinity. So this is kind of like a ball balancing on this little corner. And if it were, if it were to tilt just a little bit, it would roll down here. And if it were to tilt a little bit the other way, it would roll all the way down there. It would never come back. And we could say that this ball is unstable. So this steady state solution right here, this y equals zero, because of the nature of the slope field, and because that little deviations cause the solution to diverge to infinity, we characterize this as unstable. So anyway, that's just a quick little example. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we will talk about classification of first order different equations, and then after that we will start solving them.